Okay, I'm doing a video on my, um, this is my twins room. And originally this was their closet. These walls were green. We painted them agreeable gray, which is the color inside here. Then this wall is gauntlet gray. They have, I don't know, I'll turn the light on. Um, so originally this was a wall right here and we replaced the carpet. I, I will leave the name of the carpet and everything in the description box that I can. Their beds, bedding stuff is from Betty's. Um, a curtains I found at, what's it called, Home Goods. Um, so Gauntlet Gray from Sherman Williams, Agreeable Gray is on the walls in here and also in the bathroom. So originally the door stopped here. This addition is 230 square feet. We added onto the house. Um, so on the outside of the house, it totally changed. Um, it, you know, changed basically square footage and everything. Now this used to be their original closet and they have brushed nickel. We have brushed nickel fixtures throughout the rest of our house. So on the door of this closet, like if this, or of the bathroom, the door, we left the brushed nickel for the meantime until we eventually are going to be replacing all the floors in our house with the floors in the new bathroom and we're gonna be replacing every fixture with matte black. But in the meantime, you have to like replace these and everything else, so it's a bigger project. So we were like, let's just get brushed nickel on the outside here, it will match everything else in the rest of the house. But that's why that handle is brushed nickel, but the inside handle is the matte black. So this was their original closet. It's probably messy, but this was their original closet. I'm storing these bins of their old clothes we used to do all their winter clothes and then all their summer clothes here and then their dresses and then they just have like books and all that kind of stuff and yeah so everything was kind of stored here this is a pretty large room but for the i mean it's it's a very big room already but for twins you know it's like they need more space so we wanted another bathroom in the house. We have a four bedroom house, so we wanted an additional bathroom onto it and we wanted them to be able to have their own bathroom. If they're sharing a room together, we figured you could have your own bathroom. So the lighting might be a little bit off in here. I'm gonna turn this off, but this is like a gray weathered floor. Um, so we're just gonna turn that back on. The shower has a light, but you can hear that vent fan so just for filming purposes, I'm just gonna turn the vent fan off. Um, so anyways, you come in and come in like this. And then we have, this is basically the layout of it. And then we did like built-ins here. Like I said, on the walls is agreeable gray. And we have the cabinets and this these cabinets and then the ones above here are painted like a bright just crisp painters grade like cabinet enamel white we didn't mix anything in with it we just went with the white we did that because i wanted a stark white i didn't want it to be the same color as like the doors and the crown molding those are like a little bit more of an off white and i really wanted this to be white so first I'm gonna start out with the floors. These are, I believe, um, oh, I forget what the word for them is, but vinyl basically, lock flooring, waterproof flooring. And so far we really, really love them. They're super easy to install. Now we did have a contractor that did all of the work, um, but I mean, he said they were super easy to install. So. We love these floors. I'll leave the exact name of everything in the description below. So off here is a closet, but I'll show you that. So all the hardware first. Hi, there I am. Um, all the hardware, the poles right here are all the same poles. Let me just, sh oh no, these are different. So I got these all from Wayfair. So. That's where I ordered the pulls on everything. So I just did drawer pulls on all of these. Um, 
This is like obviously my daughter just she likes to organize things. But um so these are all drawer pulls and then the cabinets I, I asked for them to be more like shaker style sort of cabinets and I just thought the other cabinets would be outdated so I really like what they did here with these with the cabinets. I just like the square, flat, whatever. Um, here's like a close up of what the poles look like. And like I said, we got these from Wayfair. And they have them like for, uh, I'll link everything below for that. Um, the sinks are a little bit on the smaller side, but we went with a square sink. And the reason they had to be smaller is because of us putting cabinets right here, it just would butt up, so it ended up being just a smaller sink. So then we went with matte black. This is from, I believe, Delta, but I'm gonna leave, like I said, down below, the exact model that we used. Now the countertops are quartz. We decided to go with quartz. It's hard because they're looking like creamy, but they're really pretty white with like gray flecks. I don't know if like the lighting you can really see, so I don't know, maybe you can see more the true color that they are. The lighting in here is maybe it's a little bit more yellow. Um, but I love them. We decided to go with quartz because they said that it doesn't stain easily if they're wearing makeup or anything like that, that would be the best to go with. So that's what we decided to go with. And a little tip or trick is, we went with a piece that had already been cut for somebody else. So they had extra. So we got a better deal on it because we went with like a, just a different piece, like a piece that had already been cut. It was a leftover scrap piece. I mean, it had plenty for what we needed. So then we did like the backsplash behind and then we put some up here on this pony wall going into the shower just because I liked that touch. Our contractor recommended it. So we decided to go with that. This little soap dispenser is from Home Goods as well as the matching toothbrush holder. This is from Hearth and Hand as well as the flower from Target. The towels are the Nate Berkus, um, what are they called? Like P2 Project, Project 69 maybe? Project, let me look, let me look at the tag because it will say it on the tag. Yeah, Project 62, 69, oh my goodness. Project 62, Nate Burkus. Those are the towels, they're like in a charcoal color. We really, really like these towels. Uh, so we have hand extra hand towels there. And then same with these rugs. These are the Nate Burkus Project 62, charcoal colored bath mats. And this towel holder, just show you it does not move that's the only thing so it doesn't move it's just a stand it's a sturdy one it just stays in the wall you know some like kind of move on a hinge this one does not so this is from Amazon I will link the exact one these mirrors are again from Target same project 62 and love them I think these are the 28 inches 20 inch mirrors and I just think that they go really well in here. I had a vision on Pinterest. This was like my vision. I really wanted circle mirrors, but then like square everything else. So that's kind of what we went with. So I really love the way that turned out. I love these mirrors. And then the light fixtures. Oh, it's going to be hard to see. So let me turn the lights out and then maybe you can see them better. We got these either from Joss and Maine or Wayfair, but they came... Like if I ordered them from Joss and Maine, they came from Wayfair. So, okay, so the lights, and we don't have the right bulbs in them because I just don't like the amount of light that the Edison bulb lets off. So we just kind of have these like standard daylights in them. Um, but anyway, it's just like a matte black um, light fixture with two little things. We use this in our other guest bathroom that we redid as well, um, but, and I really liked it. So. We moved it to the two, so two, and that's what they kind of look like. Again, I will um, make sure that I link the exact ones that we used. So, and then if you guys can think of any questions that I'm missing, let me know. 
So let's move on to the shower. So in the shower, we did subway tile. We did white, uh, I believe it's 10 by four inch tiles. And they ended up being, when we first started out, we were not sure they like brought the wrong sized tile. So we ended up having to switch to this 10 by four. Um, these are just plain subway tie, white subway tile. And then we have bullnose pieces that are smaller on the sides so that they just protect. We ended up using a dark charcoal, I think it was called like maybe Dorian Gray or it's like a dark charcoal grout in between. That's because I just didn't want the grout to turn yellow or have to worry I wanted to be like no fuss. I liked the look of the dark charcoal. I felt like it would tie in. And then on the floor we went with this um, hexagon tile flooring and again it's dark charcoal grout, the same grout color. I guess it just looks lighter um, but when the water hits it that's just what it is. So we just went with the black it's almost like a matte black hexagon um, shower tile. Here we also went with Delta light or shower head. This was just like a standard Delta matte black shower head. We figured we would go with this right now. Eventually we do have plans to do one that has like a detachable head because we wanted to make sure that we um, have something that like we made it a zero entry so that you could just walk right in and it's kind of a wider space just in case we had somebody in our life like my parents or anything that needed to be able to like roll in if they ever like just when you're old older parents um worried about that so okay so i'm facing the window we did put in like a can light right above and it's connected to the vent fan. We upgraded the vent fan so it was quieter, but it turned on when you flicked the light on. In the shower, we did this really big bench. I don't know if you can understand the, this is a, like the sizing of the shower because you can't really see anyone in it, but it is a very large space for a shower. We ended up putting like a window in there and then we did just like a little shampoo box right over here. I wanted to do it in this wall because I wanted to make sure that you just didn't see it when you looked right in so they can tuck all their shampoo stuff. This is usually hanging on the glass, but if I took it down for the video, we got this off of Amazon as well. It's a matte black little squeegee thing. I'll just show you. Um, so it's like a silicone thing that just kind of hangs from the shower. So yeah, that's that. And I did the halfway instead of like, I don't know if this is called the bricklayer, but it's like the tiles move halfway. So, and that's that. Now, we originally were gonna go with a framed shower, but it just didn't work out with matte black. We, this was the last part of it. Matte black apparently was very difficult to get uh, the hinges for, but we ended up going with a seamless shower and I'm really glad that we did that because kind of when you walk in, it would have, you know, more matte black. I just like the seamless look. It really makes it look wider, more open. So then this hook right here came in a pack that I got like a hook and then a um, towel holder, like a long bar towel holder that's in our other guest bathroom that we redid. So it came with that and then this toilet, um, matte black toilet thing, toilet paper holder. So those all came in a set and um, I will link those as well. But we used the other toilet, the other towel hangers for the other bathroom and then this, these were just some leftover pieces. However, I did end up finding these um, on Amazon and I loved these. They're just like matte black hooks so they just, you know, can hang their towels here or can use it to hang their towels right here as they're taking a shower. Um, so I got those off of Amazon, again I'll link, and then this matte black thing that hangs on the door, they can just put their shower caps. They do wear shower caps because if they braid their hair and they don't feel like it's a hair washing day, 
they like to wrap their hair up. But this matte black thing is really, really nice. It has like protective layer on the back so that it doesn't scratch the door. That's also from Amazon, very decent price. Now we got all matte black door handles. These came from, maybe it's called Alco, is just the business here. But they, maybe that's a dog food place. I don't know. I'll have to look it up, but it's just basically like a standard. We got it to match the other door handles. It's like an oval. Not particularly my favorite, but again, I, we wanted to match for consistency purposes with the rest of our house, and so we went with that. Like I said, these, this cabinet right here kind of juts out, and we put crown molding on the top, and then when you open it up, it just, our beach towels, extra towels, that sort of thing, so it has three shelves here, and then down below, I believe it's three shelves. Yeah, three shelves. Now they wanted to do like a standard hamper thing in here and I just said no, I'd rather have shelving for storage for when they get older. Right now they just keep like a little bit of their makeup, um, extra makeup bag, travel bags, some stuff here. Just, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, oh this is just, extra travel stuff for packing, and then this is all hair color, hair dyeing, like if you wanna put blue and streaks and stuff in your hair. So that's what we're keeping in there for now, and then they have a ton of storage under here. This was like a last minute addition, so they have like, you know, I don't even know why she has a ruler, but she does. But anyways, it has a little shelf in here, so they can end up storing stuff in there, and then, you know, drawers. Nice and nice and deep drawers, and then, again, this is the other side. So, it's just, I really like the way that turned out to have this little thing on the side because I was worried about them sharing these three drawers because I was like, one twin will get this one, one twin will get this one, and then they'll have to share a drawer. And uh, I was like, I kind of want them, like this cabinet is one twins, that cabinet is another twins. So then they decided to add on this, so our contractor talked to the cabinet guy, and they were like, hey, how about we do like another drawer and another little thing so they can have all that for their like basic stuff. And then this stuff is kind of like shared, but it's like one twin has one, the other twin has this one, and then this one is a shared drawer. So anyways, this is one twins, they get plus one drawer over here. You know what I mean? And then these are all shared. Now I know to some people that doesn't make sense, but if you have twins, you know, so. All right, so you come in here and we got this toilet. Again, I will link the exact one that we got. It's a small space toilet and we needed a small space toilet. The brand is Kohler and it's it was like a more, uh, it, it said on it, small space toilet. And I wanted that because we wanted the door to be in here. I wanted to have privacy for this and also have a lock on this so that they could have privacy in the toilet as they're growing up. And it had to clear <laughs> the toilet. So we had to make sure we got a smaller size toilet. Then I got this off of Amazon. It's just a matte black trash can. And then we decided to go with the head knocker above the toilet. I didn't know that was what that's called, but I just thought it would be nice for like, I have that for extra toilet paper, but then we have it here. These little things are from Target and we have some like extra towels up there. So anyways, I just thought like as they're older and you know they need to store certain stuff for girls in there, that would be nice to just go in there and they can have everything they need and have it above there and they don't have to worry about it. So we'll keep extra stuff like that in there. Okay, so then going in here we decided to do uh, double doors into their closet and they're like magnetic open so that's that and again I'll link this carpet we did go with black hin bat black hinges on everything and so you walk in and then we did built-ins uh, and then I specifically wanted shelf right here to go all the way around so that we could store like extra summer clothes. So that's some extra clothes. And then 
we put in these were their dressers these are freestanding dressers so they're not built in but they just keep like extra shorts and pajamas and all that kind of stuff in there and then this is like one twins side and so she has all of this and then one whole row right here and then the other twin has all of this and then her whole row over here so that's how they share that and then each twin has a dresser and then they have like a little mirror in here and then a shoe like we just did some shelves right now they have shoes on them but my intention was just to have extra storage space this was an additional thing that we added on and then the um, shelving on this sort of connects right there so you have that extra and then the extra shelving right there so I uh, I really like the way it turned out it's a nice big closet for them and oh my god I'm wearing shorts <laughs> exercise shorts my husband says I look like a gym teacher in these um, and then I have this like tiny little vacuum in here this is from Bissell and I just thought it was good just to vacuum keep the carpet nice and clean in here and like to just really quick uh, to make sure that they're keep keeping their space clean I also bought this like contact paper at, um, off of Amazon just to like line the shelves because they were going to be putting shoes on them the velvet hangers are also from Amazon. These baskets are from a long time ago from Target, but these are more recent from Target. So if that, if any of that stuff you want linked. I'm pretty sure I answered everything. Um, if there's something that you feel like I missed and you want to know, please let me know in the description box below. But I'm pretty sure I named where I got everything. And like I said, I will leave all of the links of uh, specifically maybe what I asked for, what I wanted. If you want to know, like, you know, I guess how I went about it with the contractor. This was our first time doing any type of like new build or addition. You know, we've never built a house. We moved into this house that was already built. So it was a very interesting process. Absolutely loved our contractor. Felt like he gave us a super fair price and he was extremely communicative, so we had a really great experience. I ended up getting exactly what I wanted, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. The kids love it. It's just a very functional space for our family and for them growing up, um, just to have their own space. And it's very separate from, feels very separate from the rest of the house, so they can just kind of come in here, get ready, and yeah, when school starts back up again, this will be really nice because they can just sort of get all ready and I don't know, they just really love having their own space and own bathroom and I'm low-key jealous because I'm like, I really like y'all shower. Gotta say, I really like y'all shower. So the plan is for us to slowly but surely go through um, each part of, like each of our bathrooms. We've already redone one and we're, we're going to be redoing our master bath to be very similar to this so when that happens I'll share that process with you if you guys are interested as well um, but a lot of different steps but all of them I'm super happy it only took about I would say three months it was the time that it took to complete the project which I was really happy with and that was in the midst some of that was with COVID so Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, again, let me know, but I will try and leave every single thing I talked about linked down below. All right, bye.